Today we have here my wireless transmitter board and a mocked up version of the receiver for the this remote control car here. Um, right now these two contain the same program except that this one is rigged to transmit and this one will not transmit. They are both capable of receiving. Uh, what I have done here is I have a Cypress wireless USB chip on a backpack board that I designed to convert voltage levels from 5 volts to 3.3 volts. Hooked up, I have it hooked up to a PIC 18F4550, which is currently running because I'm having power supply issues. So I just keep it on until I don't need it anymore. And over here is the same thing, except the whole thing is all wrapped into one little package, complete with the, the pick, regulator, power supply, and the backpack, which is underneath the Cypress board. So what happens is this transmits packets at um, an interval of 25 milliseconds, and this one will receive them when it's turned on. So when I turn it on, the these the lights right here, the um, four lights, get a pointing device. These four lights, uh, the top one will light up saying the uh, wireless chip is turned on and working properly. The third light down will flash if it is anything is being received. So I'm gonna turn it on. And as you can clearly see, the first light is on, the third light is flashing, meaning it is receiving the packets from over here on this side. Now, to view the packets, I, um, I have it rigged up so that this serial cable here hooks in to a connector which goes to hyper terminal on win in windows and will display everything that is being received so if I plug this chip in again you should start to see things come up on screen right here we, we have the packets and and the valid data now this tends to overload my computer so I'm gonna that off. Okay, now if I turn off the transmitter here by flipping my switch, that turns everything off over here. And then I plug this in, the receiving light will not flash, proving that this does indeed work. <laughs> 